Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the third session of day three of Prabandhan 2020. I would like to introduce you all to the speaker, next speaker, Mr. Bharat Ajwani, who is the CMD of Technic Group of Companies. Now, uh, according to him, build a structure, move into action, and execute it with integrity and responsibility. That's the mantra that defines Bharat Ajwani, a new age transformational CEO who believes in evolution for success. He currently owns a plethora of companies that is Technic Valves Private Limited. He's the managing director there, Technic Fluid Controls, Technic Projects, Technic Hospitality Private Limited, Ross Control Systems, which is a consultancy firm. And he's also an active member of small and medium enterprise, that is SMEs. He is responsible for creating a platform for more than 2000 entrepreneurs Active, he's an active member of IEC, that is the Instrumentation Experts Club, and he's a committee member of IPVs and Mumbai Secretary of the Roundtable MSRT 223. He is a strong advocate of social change and community outreach, and owing to his commitment to this be belief, Bharat is responsible for introducing and developing the concept of new socialism as a part of organizational CSR strategy that drives all initiatives CSR initiatives around the four pillars. And who are the four pillars? Our people, our communities, health and safety, and the environment. He's also the co-founder of the NGO Grassroots, which supports close to 2,000 underprivileged kids from the slum areas in Juhu, which is Juhu Gali, Nehru Nagar, Hanuman Nagar, and Muragaon. Currently, he also the honorable trustee of Roundtable BRT2, which channelizes funds to build close to 10 schools in small villages. He has also launched an underprivileged students and programs in Gandhi Shikshan Bhavan, which included a body and eye checkup medical camp for 1,000 pupils and was actively involved in raising funds for business schools in Malad in association for raising schools, a uh, building school with Procter & Gamble. He organized Blind Man's Rally to raise funds to build a school as a project in charge with support from PNG. And in furtherance to CSR initiatives, he's currently working to build clusters of bathrooms for numerous girls' schools in Shahpur. He has also won an award for excellence in leadership from IEC by B.R. Mehta, that is, he was the senior VP Reliance and Mr. Neeraj Agrawal. To sum up, he is a multi-potentialite who strives to reach his goals by aligning it to the greater good of the society. So please welcome Mr. Bharat Ajwani. Over to you, Mr. Ajwani. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for a wonderful introduction. First of all, I would like to thank the management of Aditya Group of Institutes. Special thanks to the director, Dr. Sunita Srivastava, deputy director, Dr. Manoj Bhatia, and Dr. Pinky Bhardwaj. Thanks, thanks for inviting me here. Welcome all the faculty members and the students. Can I request each one of you, all the students present here, to take a minute and go through each and every person present on this platform. Look through and just be with them. Just be with them. You might find few of the familiar faces also. So request you to just be with them. So <clears throat> let's move forward. Yeah. First please. of all, I would like to congratulate each and every student for graduating this year and then being part of this prestigious institute, the Aditya Institute of Management Study. Thank you for being here. One thing very important is that you got to acknowledge yourself for being a part of this prestigious institute today. Thank you for being here. Today, we're going to talk about management. Management is all about managing business as an entrepreneur or as a professional. Managing people, managing business, managing money, and managing a lot more requires one very important factor, and that's leadership. So I want each one of you to look at what is leadership? What do you hear when you say the word leadership? What do people see it worldwide about leadership? Please go ahead and play the video. So come up to the, that marker. So uh, I look straight down the barrel. You ready to go? All right, well, look, let's start. When you think about leadership, what comes to your mind? It's a good question. <laughs> um, 
leading? A few different words, actually. Uh, probably responsibility, integrity, vision. Someone that you aspire to to want to be like. We often have this idea that leaders are the people who are just like uh, dictators and they want to want to stop us from doing things and make us force us, put us into place and um, make us be robots. Well, for me, leadership doesn't come from above. It comes from energies that are pushing you up. Inspire confidence in someone to, to get something done. You know, it's not just about you. It's about them, the, the team. Bottom line is that the whole can be greater than the sum of the parts. It's important for generations coming through to have people ahead of them that aren't saying, uh 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 uh. It's someone who's willing to fight. I think walking the talk rather than just saying things that you don't actually do. I don't know what proportion of the population have cut out to be leaders, but it's probably not that, not that many. You see, I, I'm, I, I believe everyone can. Um, I believe everyone can. I think a title, a leadership title, um, yeah, that doesn't mean much without the right qualities. Traditionally when we think of a leader, we think of like a person of power or influence, but even at uni, you see people in tutorials, they're, they're leading conversation or ideas. I think that someone with an eye to humanity's problems um, is really admirable. Be part of the motion of humanity. Standing up, being counted, you need brave people. And also it's exciting to be someone who tries to make a difference. Watching people doing great things and you just feel inspired and want to talk to them and learn from them and do the same or even better things. I think real leadership is about changing people's lives for the better. So, did everybody get that? So leadership is all about creating more leaders, being focused, being disciplined, being bold, being a learner, being a problem solver. And this is all over the world. That's what people fear. And that is perfect. So how do you, how does one become a leader? A leader is a person who has a purpose a purpose, he's a visionary, he has a goal. And to achieve that, he enrolls the people around him, he influences the people around him to achieve that goal. And that is what is about leadership. So how does that leader do that? A leader has the power to identify the potential, unleash the potential and channelize the potential. So when we come back here, I'm going to use a couple of examples of a person who had a purpose. We all know about Mahatma Gandhi. He had a purpose to free India. Mr. Narendra Modi worked on the purpose for Swachh Bharat, where he enrolled more than 50 people to work for that purpose. We have I'm going to take an example also of a movie which is going to make your life easy to understand with one of the examples which is going to be linked with this. The movie Lagan. Where he stood for not paying that interest, not paying that Lagan was the reason that he stood there, he strategized it and he enrolled the people to fight for a cause and that was against those Britishers from where the game of cricket had been originated and he still stood there and won it. So we're gonna see those, how did he do that? So how does these leaders identify people? They identify people, the one who approached them, the one who has an eye for that, and they see their commitment in different areas. So coming back to a movie, Lagan as an example, to get you a better picture, the leader there who was played as an Amir Khan identified top 11 players. But I'm going to give you one example to show you and clarify this point, which will give you a more interesting information. There was one person who was named as Kachra, who was handicapped, and he still identified the potential in him. He unleashed his potential. He made him present to his qualities, he made him present that what he can do for his team. He channelized it. He 
he used him at the right time. If you remember, he used him in in between the overs when the ball was old so that he could channelize, spin the ball, take more wickets. And that's what leaders do. They know the exact way to use their potential in most of the cases. So, so a leader is a person who has the vision, who takes a decision, who strategize and enrolls people to be a part of that decision. A lot can be learned, a lot can be done in this institute where you get the platform to participate as a leader in all the different events and learn out of this event. Let me move to another. How does these leaders originate from? So there are three types of leaders. How does one become a leader? A very important part. One, they are inborn. And I would like to give you an example of an inborn would be Indira Gandhi and today's current PM, Mr. Narendra Modi. The other way, the leaders who become leaders are through great events. In case if anybody can remember the events is one, Rajiv Gandhi. Rajiv Gandhi was never into politics and he got into politics because of his mother when he lost his mother. One from the business community is going to be Mr. Bhushan Kumar, his father. Mr. Gulshan Kumar was been shot dead and he took this responsibility at the age of 18 and he became the extraordinary leader in his business. So this is how the first two leaders have been created. The third is the transformational and that is why you guys are here where we learn, where we raise our bar and where we practice and then we become what we call as a leader. And that is why you are here to get trained on different platforms, build your skills, whether it is a soft skill or working on a community job. And that is where you create your leadership. For me as a personal, the three things that I have learned and implemented in my business is the power of declaration, the power of my word and integrity. The declaration is when you declare what you want to be, where you want to be, and that's the future that you create. And that future gives you the passion. And then you make a structure with a short term and a long term goal and you evaluate that every week on week basis that you're moving on the right direction. Then comes your word, your word that that's the power. People trust you because what you say you do and you keep delivering it every time and that's what builds the trust in you. The third and the most important part is integrity. Without integrity, nothing works. Integrity is the foundation and the base for everything. With integrity, you get the power. Integrity means that you will do what you said you will do. It also says that people accept you to do something that you haven't said that you will do. And there, the biggest example is of your parent. They want you to study, graduate, and get a good job, even though you haven't said it. And that is why they have sent you to this prestigious university or the institute. So moving forward, I want, I want to share the most important part. How does these leaders have that ultra power or the ultra performance and ultra high performance? The ultra high performance are coming in from this four cues, which is called the intelligence, which can be probably used in your different uh, different fields. That is, you know, I'm being a sales guy or a marketing guy. I, I use that in my sales. So coming back here is in the industrial revolution in the 1800 took about 100 years to change. 
and today the technology is changing very fast it takes less than five years or less to change and during this lockdown the way we have been welcoming you is completely different which has never happened before so the technology is moving very fast one thing what i would like to share on these intelligence is that one that you have an iq that is innate intelligence which is baked in your dna you are born with it either you have it or you don't have it the second is the aq aq is the acquired intelligence regardless of your iq you can grow your aq by being here doing your multiple projects doing your community work making a difference in your community and aq is what you acquire during your growth of your work here and outside in the business the acquired and the high ultra high performance have an insatiable thrust of knowledge they are coachable they are coachable and they work on their gaps when i use the word coachable coachable is when a coach tells you to jump you jump you don't ask him why you ask him how high and here your coaches are your teachers and your professors who are going to guide you and they're going to unleash your potential and they're going to help you channelize that and make you present to all the skills that you have developed in the coming two years and then comes the tq <clears throat> the tq is the ability to interact with technology and use it in your daily life those who fail to use this technology are resist are the ones who are left behind technology gives you more time to have human relationship you must have seen a lot of people are busy working are working till late and not able to share time or spend time with their family is the reason that they are lacking behind it so when you use the technology you are able to master your planning you are able to time manage your things and achieve time and extra time to do other activities and the last is the emotional intelligence emotional intelligence the one who has a high emotional intelligence are the one who can dominate any field any discipline of business or in life and these are the people who are always on the top of the chain the ability to preside to correctly interpret and to respond to effectively manage your own emotion and influence the emotion of others is called the emotional intelligence and these are the people who have a very high success rate so what i want to conclude with are these four intelligence the iq aq tq and eq combination is the most powerful one and this is going to help you lead become a good leader with all the skills with all the working that you do here today so good luck for your two years of spending time in this institute and learn and grow with this team with the team you have across so thank you and i would like to once again thank the management today for inviting me here stay home and stay safe thank you yeah so wonderful i mean whatever you have said has actually been an eye opener in the sense that when students have to uh, start grooming themselves and start introspecting for the next two years to come i think what you have focused upon is the major areas thrust areas that people have to keep at the back of their minds so that subconsciously and consciously they are right. always driven towards moving in the right direction so what i appreciate about the way in which you have described leadership is the fact that it is a combination of not just thoughts and ideas but it is about you know having the dedication and the sincerity to be able to bring it into action so converting Absolutely. your dreams into reality i mean that's the beauty of what you have spoken so i'm extremely thankful to you mr bharat